Hi everyone. Okay, today I'm making pad krapao, which is a Thai dish. Uh, it's actually stir fry with basil. Okay, these are the ingredients that I'm using. This is minced chicken. I'm using about 600 grams. Okay, this is Thai basil which uh, you just pluck out the leaves. Now this might look a lot, but actually all of it will wilt away. Now, I will need garlic. I'm using about 10 cloves of garlic. Chili padi, which is the very spicy Thai chili. I'm using about 8 of them. And this non-spicy chili, which I'm using only 2. This has to be pounded together into a rough paste. Then I need light soya sauce. Okay. This is uh, fish sauce, uh, oyster sauce, and I'm using sweet soya sauce. Actually, it calls for dark soya sauce and to add sugar. But this sauce is dark soya sauce and already has sugar in it. Okay. So first of all, you have to prepare these ingredients. You have to pound them together. And also, you have to prepare the sauce. So that will be easier for you when you fry. Okay, for the sauce, since I'm using 600 grams of uh, minced chicken, I'll be using oyster sauce. I'll be using about one and a half tablespoons. Okay. That's one. And a little bit more. Okay. For fish sauce, I'll be using two tablespoons. One, two. For kicap manis, which is sweet soya sauce, I'll be using one and a half first. As you are cooking in, then you can see whether you need more or not. Now, the color also will help with the dish because it'll, otherwise it will be very pale. Okay. And then light soya sauce, which I'll be using only one tablespoon because of the fish sauce is already salty. Okay. Give this a good mix and this will be your sauce okay. to fry everything. Now I will go get on to the pounding of the grinding or pounding of the chili and garlic okay so first of all always 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 pound the chili paddy first okay the small Thai red chilies pound this first because you want it as fine as possible you don't want to be eating one of the big pieces and you no know, it's going to be really really hot okay so let's pound this until it's really fine first okay now that it's been pounded to a as fine as possible now is the time you can add in your garlic okay add in all your garlic and pound this down also okay now that that has been pounded together now you can add in the big chilies now this one i've already cut them up a little bit so all you need to do with this one is to pound it coarsely Okay, just cause will be fine. You want to be able to see some of the chili when you cook it. Okay, pak krapao is always served with a fried egg. So, but the egg is actually deep fried. So this is how you do it. Put enough oil in a small pan. Make sure that it's hot. It has to be, well, quite hot. Lah, huh? Then it can crisp up nicely so just carefully break the egg in there okay and wait for it to splatter So 
So just keep frying it until the sides turn brown and crispy. Then you can take it out. Okay. See, the sides are now brown and crispy. Now is when you can take it out. Okay. Okay, so you start by heating up some oil in the pan. Once it's hot enough, this is your pounded chili, the two different chili and the garlic. Okay, so fry this first. The smell will be very strong and you might start coughing. That is a good sign. Okay, so fry this until it's cooked before you carry on with the other ingredients, okay? Okay, so now that the whole house has started coughing, <laughs> you can add in your minced chicken, alright? So, make sure you make this, mix this well. And make sure the chicken is cooked. Using the wrong frying. So once the chicken has cooked and you mix everything in nicely, add in your sauce. Okay. Now from here it will depend on you on how much salt whether it's sweet enough for you, it all depends on the individual. Okay? Now, for me, this color is perfect. Okay, so gently let this thing cool. Let all the sauces get into the chicken. Okay, before you add in your Thai basil. Okay, I've added one more tablespoon of uh, fish sauce so that it's just nice. Sugar all wasn't was not necessary because of the sweet soy sauce I used. If you didn't use sweet soy sauce, then you will probably need to add maybe uh, one and a half teaspoon of sugar. So now that everything has been cooked down properly, just leave it until part of the sauce has dried out. Now you can make this using any kind of meat. You can use any meat, you can chop it up, or you can use mince. It is up to you. Okay? So last of all, when we are done with this now, see the sauce is almost gone. Now, just turn off the fire and add in all your basil leaf. Now it looks like a lot, right? But it's not. So now all you do is just mix this in and it will all start to wilt. The aroma of the Thai basil is really really nice. So that's it. It's all ready. So now you can serve this up and eat with rice and with the fried egg. So, this is pat krapao with egg and rice. Now can check it, can wallop. Bye everybody!